Some Filipinas want to wait for marriage before having sex with her partner. If you decided to do this and found out your husband has only three and a half banana, <laughs> banana there, <laughs> would you be disappointed? My opinion about this is I will get shocked for sure. <laughs> Because especially if you are a foreigner and you have three and a half inches of banana, you know, it's, it's not disrespectful for you. Yes, it's not. As long as not, yeah, not, not like <laughs> turning around. <laughs> Hey guys, it's me, Suzy Kelly, the hot mama. So for today's video, I'm going to ask some questions to this beautiful Filipina with me, guys. And before anything else, I would like to say thank you so much to all my subscribers, to all my supporters, because without you guys, I cannot reach this level. And if you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more updates so without further ado let's get started so um how are you today i'm, I'm actually good I'm okay feeling great. feeling great yes um what are you doing here by the way oh uh, we're practicing drama and dance okay um where are you studying what what school I'm from Asian College, taking Bachelor of Tourism Management. Okay. Do you, do you really like your course? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, how, what what is your height? She's so tall, guys. Come here. <laughs> five, four? Five, four, five, five, I think you're five six. Five, six. I think so. Um, and uh, by the way, guys, she's really, really pretty in person. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, as you all know, I always interview beautiful Filipina in my channel right so yeah um i have a few questions for you um just go with the flow don't worry this is a uh, normal questions okay um because my viewers are mostly foreigners so they really want to hear what your thoughts about dating a foreigners giving some advices and yeah are you ready <laughs> oh by the way how many siblings do you have I have four, four siblings, all girls. Okay, all right. Um, wow, no, no, no boys. Yeah. I think your your parents is trying to a, a fa to make a another bit another baby, baby <laughs> another baby boy, <laughs> but but they're not luck, guys. <laughs> so, are your sisters are still studying? Yeah, they're still studying. I'm the eldest. Ah, so how, how old is your um, uh, youngest? Youngest, nine months. I twelve months. Ooh. Twelve months or Ooh. I forgot. Eleven months. Okay. Eleven months. So, is she a crying baby or? <laughs> she is. Yeah. I think it's pretty normal, guys. All right. So, um, can you please introduce yourself to my viewers? Hello, I am Joanna Saldasa, 20 years old from Pamplona, Negros Oriental. Pamplona! I also interviewed yesterday from Pamplona. Yeah. So you are you um renting here then? Ah, yes. uh, oh, okay. Currently residing here in Taclobo. Mm -hmm. How much is the rentals here by the way? As a student, like like are you do you have uh, do do you have company? No, two thousand five hundred. Our rent is two thousand five hundred. That's well, only room. Yeah, only room. Mm. The water and the electricity is not included. Okay. Yeah, I think it's it's good price as a student. What tips would you give a foreigner wanting to date a Filipina in the in the Philippines? For me, they have to be um patient. Mm -hmm. They also have to be adaptable because. We have a very diverse culture and they also have to be courageous as well. Mm. So take note, if you really want to date a Filipina, 
you have to be patient yeah. and no need to rush things you know love your your love will come at, uh, at the perfect time diba? what are some things you think foreigners may have some difficulty adjusting to when living in the philippines for me the attitude of some filipinas mm -hmm. because they are very matampuhin or very Celosa. Yeah. yeah, so they have to be ready for that. Yeah, because we don't have, um, we we are very sensitive. Yeah, we're very sensitive. Yeah, very, very sensitive. And yeah, as you all know, guys, Filipina are, you know, we all. Sometimes depending as well. <laughs> yeah. You, yeah. That's why when you really want to find a Filipina, just patient. And also know the cultures, no, yeah, know the cultures in the, in the Philippines, so so that you will be aware on that, right? Yes, uh -huh. that's right. Guys, she's really really shy. I asked her like, hey, I, I will interview you, huh? And she said, no, I'm I'm, I'm very introvert. I'm very very shy. <laughs> At least she said yes, guys. <laughs> okay, so what? Qualities are you looking for in a foreign partner or in a local? Yeah, the the qualities. qualities that I'm looking for a guy is that genuine, mm -hmm. he's genuine, and he loves his family, family oriented. Okay, are you a Catholic? Yes, I'm a Catholic. So every Sunday, yeah, the, Sunday. You, you go to yeah. church. By the way, what's the schedule here in, in, um, in this church? I don't know. I really wanted to go in this Our church, but I don't know the schedule. Five thirty. But what, what about in the morning? I don't know. Some morning wala ka balo pero sa every afternoon mami five thirty to six. Okay. I guess. I never tried to uh, attend the mass here in in Domagetti, guys, because I don't know the schedule and you know, hot mama is busy looking for a Filipina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, now that I know that they're, they're, uh, the schedule is 5.30, right? 5:30. What about 4? Four? 4? There's before. Before that. Ah, so let's say 3. Uh -oh. Or 4. So it's not every an hour? I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, I will just ask them. I forgot. I went to, to the church earlier before I I you know um, I interview you guys actually I, I, I saw her at the beginning I was like damn this girl is so pretty I'm gonna interview her and finally we're here <laughs> yeah okay let's proceed are you open to a long-distance relationship if the right person came along in the near future yes I'm very open especially for our future mm -hmm. yeah it's fine with me so in the near future okay um how many kids do you want i prefer three wow three so how many girls and boys two boys and one girl okay that sounds good so is your family it's still complete uh, your mom and dad are not separated yes we're complete Happy. so so your mom and dad is living here in in in, uh, in Dumaguete or Pamplona, right? Pamplona. So they they meet there in Pamplona. Yes. Is from, your mom from and Pamplona. dad from Pamplona both? Yes, from Pamplona. Okay. Have you tried um, to travel in other places? In Cebu. Oh. What did you do there? Vacation with my family. Ah, uh, yeah, family. Um, have you tried to see the whale shark? No, I haven't yet. What about exploring? Like waterfalls there. In ano sa uh, uh, kawasan? Not yet. Not yet. Mga cathedral sa ah uh, uh, so it's like a simala. Uh, uh, simala ah like churches. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can you okay. give my viewers some tips on how to deal with a Filipina that is having a severe tumble? It's episode, guys. <laughs> For me, as what I've said earlier, they have to be patient and they have also to be ready mm -hmm. as much as possible and just go with the flow mm -hmm. and be happy with your company yeah do you think that they have to ignore our tampo for me communication is the key and if you ignore it 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 
it can lead to miscommunication and you might have a <laughs> yeah like misunderstanding misunderstanding and away yeah you uh, she said that it it will end up into like arguments guys so yeah you know what guys this is my tips for you okay because we Filipina are very very sensitive sensitive as we've said earlier you need to be patient you need you know you don't need to a uh, higher ego you need to you know at least a little bit not like that yeah a little bit only guys if you say sorry you know for us that really means a lot like okay finally she's he said sorry oh <laughs> god at least you know because normally filipina are always do, doing the like always overthink. yeah we all we overthink and then and then when you're not doing anything we, oh my god yeah for you know to be honest foreigners are different in, uh, yeah compared to the filipino because that's yeah i can tell because i have experience okay yeah like i i remember before with my you know um ex boyfriend um every time that i have tampo you know what Okay, we have tampo now, but the, the good thing about me is I can just, you know, I can just um, forget it easy. Like, you know, if he if he's not talking to me, I'm the one talking to him. I'm the one, hey, Yanni. Oh, my God. <laughs> we need to talk. I can, you know, okay, because if I, if I can't talk to him like that, I, I'm not, com like, I don't feel good. I feel like. Like there's something wrong, you know. We that's why communication is important. Yeah, the key to have a better a relationship. Better. Rela <laughs> relationship. <laughs> relationship, guys. Yeah. So take note about that, guys. Oh, hot mama is giving you some tips. <laughs> some Filipinas want to wait for marriage before having sex with her partner. If you decided to do this and found out. Your husband has only three and a half banana, <laughs> banana there. <laughs> Would you be disappointed? For me, it doesn't matter as long as we can bear a child or children. It's fine. <laughs> wow, it's okay for you, but you, you don't really shock that you know. Maybe, maybe it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter ma anymore. <laughs> You okay? You 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 don't really care about the the size yeah. because some some Filipinas they really care about the size. For me, it doesn't matter as long as we can bear a child. And then um yeah, love it like just respect and love each other. Okay. You know what? My my opinion about this is I will get shocked for sure because <laughs> especially if you are a foreigner and you have three and half inches of banana you know god damn but i will still love you i mean i will just i'm not gonna be disappointed but i will get shocked for sure i'm gonna be like oh my god i thought that you have the big banana <laughs> yeah that's my opinion guys okay do you consider yourself a jealous person when it comes to your man no i'm not i'm very i trust him mm -hmm. and yeah, I'm not a jealous type of girl. What if um, when you were together and you see him watching other girls, what would you feel? It's fine with me as long as there's no malicia. <laughs> okay. It's okay. It's not, it's, it's not disrespectful for you? Yes, it's not. As long as not. Yeah, not, not like <laughs> turning around. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, just like that, and yeah. and then go back to your, you know, and talking to you, right? Yeah, that would be nice, guys. If you keep, you know, um, looking on that girl, that would that would be uh, disrespectful. You can only pick one: mm, a foreigner with blue eyes or a foreigner with six back abs and feet. Um, a foreigner with blue eyes. So, I think Filipinas really like to see blue eyes. That's why we're using contact lens. Yes. Yeah. Have you tried using contact lens? No, I haven't yet. 
Really? Yes. <laughs> By the way, uh, let me ask you, how, did you try to join the pageant? Beauty pageant? Why not? I'm shy. <laughs> oh my god, you you should you, you should expo you should be exposed because you know you have a beautiful face, a nice body, but uh maybe send it because I you you're still young. Yeah. Maybe you will change your mind. I have my priority right now is my studies. That's good. Yeah. I, I, I agree with you. If you are focused on your study and then you will have a better life in the future for the future. Do you consider yourself as a great kisser? Yes, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, guys, we Filipino are a great kisser. So what's your thoughts when it comes to a long distance relationship? It's fine with me as long as there's a communication in the relationship, then it will be good. It, it you think that it will work out even if they're like eight miles away? Yes, as long as na she trust. Yes, if you really trust your partner, like me, guys, me and my boyfriend, we are far away, but nobody can ruin our relationship. <laughs> yes, because we trust each other. Yes. Even if there's a lot of admirers sending me a lot of messages, I don't really care about them. I really care about my man. Loyal. Yes, I'm loyal. And I'm loyal too. <laughs> Do you believe Filipina are loyal? Yes. Definitely. Yes. You see, guys? Mm -hmm. So, if you're, you are looking for a Filipina, maybe you can check on my bio, click Christian Filipina. That dating service will help you how to find your beautiful Filipina in the near future. Go and explore and make it sure to sign up. So I think that's it for today's video and I hope you like watching this video and please give me a thumbs up and comment down below. Give me a nice comment guys, okay? So, see you on my next vlog. Bye!